If I had a dollar for every time I have been asked, what is your favorite lipstick in nude, pink, red, plum colors, I would be a millionaire by now. <laughs> so today I thought I would go over with you guys my favorite 12 lipsticks. Now these lipsticks are my go-to as of recently in the last couple of years because you know these brands, they're always discontinuing lipsticks. So of course I try to keep my favorites updated for you all. But these 14 that I picked have been around, most of them, for some time. Some of them are newer, but either way, let's go ahead and get into these favorites. Now, how I'm gonna go about showing you guys these lipsticks is I'm gonna start from the lightest shade, nude and kind of taupe color, all the way to my deep plum, darker colors. So let's go ahead and start swatching. Our first lipstick is Gucci. Now I've talked about this one quite consistently, but it is a true perfect nude. And what I mean by that is it just takes out all the color on your lips. It has a nice hydrating base and it stays on really well. But most importantly, it really is a true nude color. Now who would wear this lipstick? It's a true editorial look because it does take all the color from the lips. This next lipstick has been in the Tom Ford family for some time, and I really do believe it's because it's a perfect pink nude color. So it doesn't wash you out because it has a little bit of that cool pink in there. Beautiful with a smoky eye. Now, if you wanted to kick it up a notch, I would just add a gloss to give you a little more luster. But as you can see, it has a nice cream sheen. Next is one of my favorite cream lipstick formulas. These feel incredible on the lips. And this is a beautiful, true rose colored lipstick on the lighter side. For those of you that don't like a lot of color, you will love this lipstick and you'll also love this formula if you have smaller lips or you have aging lips. I find the formula really does help with wrinkling around the mouth. These Lisa Eldridge Hydrating Matte Lipsticks are really lovely. Now I will say, and I've said it before on my channel, that her older lipsticks when they first came out used to shrink in the tube and fall out. But these new lipsticks, I don't know if they've been reformulated, they've been wonderful. Hydrating, last all day, and have enough moisturization where they don't fall out of the tube. Next, the classic Dior lipstick. Now this shade is a staple. For those of you that like red and the classic Dior red lipstick in particular, it is perfect for those of you who don't want something with too much blue in it or too much orange and it makes the teeth and your smile look so bright. I suggest wearing this color with navy, black, or cream. Now let's get into some luxury. This Louboutin lipstick is really lovely for those of you that like a sheen across the lips, meaning you don't want something matte and you don't want something too glossy, but you want some light reflecting pigments. It's silky, it's full coverage, it's bold, but it's got a little bit of that rose in it to keep it from being over the top. As you can see, compared to the Dior, it's just got a beautiful sheen to it. My favorite 2022 lipstick, the Dries Van Newton, the packaging, the formula, the saturated pigments on these is so well done. Now these have several different formulas as well as different cases that you can customize your own look. And as far as the brand itself, I highly recommend going online and checking out the wonderful perfumes, the scarves, the clothing. It's a well thought out and creative brand. Now as you can see, when I stripe this orange, look at the pigment on that, you guys, beautiful. Next, we have the NARS lipstick, and this is similar, I would say, as far as pigmentation to the Dries Van Newton, but these are so incredibly luscious when it comes to their light catching quality. Saturated color, beautiful cream sheen. The audacious lipsticks need a brighter spotlight on them because they are truly that good. You're on the hunt for a perfect red in various shades. Look no further than Valentino. I chose this color in particular, and I use this color quite often for clients who tell me I'd like a red color, but I don't want something too bold. This shade, as well as the one you're going to see next, are perfect. A little bit of pink inside that red really does help to tone down lipsticks that are bright. Next, we have the Louboutin once again. As you can see, we're headed more towards the pink side. And because this has a nice soft sheen to it, it's going to be less dense than a matte so it'll look a little more transparent and light catching. I have to say once again the 
feel of these lipsticks. The natural oils and the seed butters in here really feel luxurious. We are back with the NARS Audacious because they're just that good. Now, clients that are looking for a beautiful, deep, sexy, dark plum color will love this. It is very hard to find these type of darker colors that aren't either too dark or head towards kind of a brick red. So this true plum color is luscious. Staying with these deep, rich colors, as you can see, this Dior has a little more red in it. It's a bit warmer, so we're heading towards like a brick red slash plum color. Now, for those of you that like a sophisticated, chic, deep lip color, definitely head towards matte formulas, which this one is. And that's because it has a little bit more of a polished, sophisticated look to it. And to make a tip, leave the skin nice and clean, very light liner, mascara, that's all you need. Let's go ahead now and mix two colors together. The Violet French, a mousse bouche. She actually had this made to be like a black rose, deep, rich velvet color. As you can see, it's saturated and it is stunning. Now I'm gonna add another color to this. And this is the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick and Velvet Ribbon. And I'm gonna place it right in the center on the lower and on the upper part to create a bit of a heart. This will give a two-tone effect, creating some more dimension across the lips. And here is the swatches that you guys can see what they look like together. Now let's take a look at all the lipsticks that we tried on today. There is a color in there for everyone and for every occasion. Remember, makeup's fun, so enjoy the creative process, my friends. I had to do a wardrobe change, especially with this fabulous lipstick. But there we had 14 of my favorite lipsticks. These are the ones I reach for the most. Now, mind you, some of these are newer and some of these have been out for a couple of years. So that said, every couple of years, I'm sure I'll have a new list for you all of my favorites and my go-tos because these brands always discontinue colors. Although they discontinue, I find that most of them create something quite similar, um, but I will keep the lipstick favorites updated for you all. Now, if you all would like a suggestion on a lipstick, whether that be texture or for your specific skin tone, feel free to reach out to me in the comments down below. We've reached the end of the video. If you'd like to support the content here at Shri Voyage, it's really easy to do. You just need to subscribe and use the affiliate links down below. Now I'll have everything I use today and then I have a list of stores to shop for anything you want or need. Every time you shop with my links, I get a small commission and it helps me to continue to do this channel for you all. And of course, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and leave me a comment. Love hearing your guys' comments, they make my day. And if you haven't had enough, you can head to TikTok or Instagram where I show you sneak peeks of the newest, the latest, the greatest. And I give you guys an idea of my life as a professional makeup artist. If you'd like to book a session with me one-on-one, -on -one, I am a professional makeup artist of over 20 years. You can head to shrewvoyage.com. I'll have the link in the description box down below. I have lessons from beginner to advanced. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going on this voyage with me. And as always, please continue to take care of yourselves, continue to take care of each other, continue to be kind to one another, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everybody.